we purchase 100% of our steel out of the U.S. and they automatically start putting their tariffs on the steel before it was even implemented. Now the Canadian government, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, has uh, retaliated, put the same tariffs on the steel that can't Canadians make. So now we have to pay another tariff for the steel coming in. And the, the U.S. is already paying this tariff for the steel that they're purchasing out of Europe. So we're paying that because it's coming from the U.S. And now we're paying another tariff on this on the U.S. steel that we have to import because there's no manufacturers for high-speed steel here in Canada. We're, we're caught in the middle. We, there's 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 no way out. We have to pay the tariff right now, hoping to get some relief. Uh, maybe the government can uh, step in and see it our way and give us some relief. Um, uh, the, the two uh, prime minister and the president, it's like they're just uh, they're throwing sand at each other and it just keeps piling up, piling up. I don't know when the end is. There doesn't seem to be an end to it. There's no set date for talks or negotiations or I don't, I don't know when it's going to end. I don't know how long it's going to go on for and it's uh, very unpredictable.